Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a quick guide for Ferrite suitable for completely new players, returning players and veterans alike. Ferrite is a resource you will need an astronomical amount of. To build everything you will need approximately 1 million of it, which is stupidly high amount but luckily it is pretty easy to get. You can get Ferrite on Earth, Mercury, Void, Neptune, Lua and all their Railjack counterparts. Those are the locations, but there is actually only two reliable ways to getting ferrite. First way is from resource crates and ferrite deposits, one of which is on the screen right now. And the second way you can get it is from enemies. It is quite common since it will drop in the amounts of 50 to 100 per 50 enemies killed. At least that is what I came up with by running exterminate missions and killing only enemies. That is literally everything you need to know and the end to farming ferrite. But I also divided this video into a few categories to make it a bit better. Those categories are newcomers, solo players and squad players. We'll go over the best places where to farm ferrite for each group in my opinion, starting with the newcomers. I still suggest you watch everything though so you can understand why there is a different way to farming ferrite. But okay, let's go now. For those who just started playing Warframe, your best bet for farming ferrite is destroying crates in missions. The first time you'll be able to get ferrite is on Earth, where you start, so it should be quite easy. You may also try to kill enemies for loot, but I do not suggest it since you will get much less of it. The amount of ferrite you get from missions will be quite low, speaking in thousands if you loot every single crate on the map. If you have problems spotting the crates, you can use Thieves Wit mod which you get quite early in the game or any other loot detection mod like Animal Instinct and Loot Radar which are not right at the beginning but you can get them quite easily. A loot vacuum mod on your companion is also very welcome because you will not have to go right over each resource on the map. In my opinion, the best missions you can play to farm ferrite are exterminate and capture missions on planets I mentioned before, because they are easy to complete and also shouldn't take long. When you advance, get a few warframes and some good weapons, you can also do dark sector missions. Their point is that they have a drop chance boost for resources integrated into them. You may also use other resource drop boosts here, such as resource drop chance booster, or double resource booster, Smita Kavat's charm ability, loot frames such as Necros and Korra, and I can go on and on. But the main thing you need to know is that if you have all the boosts for better drop chance, you will get far more ferrite from enemies when you compare to destroying crates. If you don't have the boosts, crates are far better. If you're playing solo, it is very important to know that more enemies there are, the more loot you will get, so playing on Steel Path is the way to go. Now, Steel Path is quite a late game thing, but it is a gold cave for solo players. If you do not have it unlocked yet, I suggest you try the same method of farming ferrite as newcomers, destroying crates in exterminate missions and capture missions. When it comes to squad play, it is extremely nice to play in a squad just because you will get far more loot from enemies that you kill because there is more enemies. You can always join a public squad which is a-okay you will get a lot of ferrite, but if you want to have a really organized group people usually go with one Necros, one Korra, one Nova and one Wisp. In reality there is no set squad for farming anything, people usually have their preferences such as Hydroid instead of Nova or any other Warframe. For example, Necros with his Desecrate ability and Despoil Augment will be low on health quite a lot if he doesn't pick up the resources, so having a Rhino that can survive through everything may be beneficial because he can revive the Necros. But again, preferences are preferences. The best missions for squad play are definitely Dark Sector missions because the Infested will usually run straight for you at max speed which means you will kill more enemies in a shorter amount of time. Of course, you may get up to 350 ferrite or far more with a full squad in one hour, depending on many factors such as the map, number of enemies you kill, warframes you use and more.
But as I said, ferrite is used in everything, therefore it is important that you get a bunch of it. But that is pretty much it. As I have mentioned before, having a resource drop chance booster and a resource double booster is a massive help for all players. And you may also add other boosters such as Smita Kavats, Charm Ability, Loot Frames and more and more. You have to know that people also have preferences, so there is no absolute best place to farming anything. If you do not enjoy the farm, do not do it too much because if you will, you will get burnt out very freaking quickly and that will hinder your progress in the game, maybe even to the point of stopping to play it. With this I have gone over everything you need to know about ferrite, a resource I have over 5.5 million in stock. Yeah, you can get too much of it. Thank you everyone for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and also join my discord channel in the description. Have a nice day everyone and goodbye.